There's one man that's on the back pages of all the newspapers in England, and that's Harry Maguire, who was sent off for two political offences in the first half. As we welcome in Frank LeBeouf and Stevie Nicol uh, with us. Stevie, let's start with you on Harry Maguire. He's had a terrible start to the season. Yeah, he's had an absolute shocker, and uh, there was question marks uh, about him coming into this game, what's been happening to him, not just on the field, but off the field, so, you know, he was under a little bit of pressure, and uh, we kind of we kind of figured where his head is at, uh, and it's certainly not on the football field. Two awful challenges, uh, the first one's just completely late, the second one's inexcusable because he's already on a yellow, uh, and so basically... Him and his uh, pal in goal, Pickford, who there was question marks over, uh, basically have cost England this game. Frank, how do you explain someone who was so good at Leicester, was OK last season, but then starts this year so badly? Well, the fact is, um, during the summer, he had some issues, you know, um, during his holiday. So maybe he's still on uh, in, uh, in his head and, uh, and maybe he's not clearly in, on, the, on the field every time he plays. And, he, and um, something is disturbing him. And on top of it, you know, I mean, he, he makes crazy decision. On the first tackle, he could have been red-carded straight mm. away. You know, he's tackled from behind. Uh, it's very hard challenge, and uh, and uh, he could have been sent off. So he has a chance that the ref give only gives him a, a yellow card because it's, we are at the beginning of the game. And a second challenge, he makes a bad control, then uh, thinks that he's going to lose the ball. So crazy tackle with his left foot when he's a right uh, is a right footed, so it goes the other way around. So it doesn't make any sense. And 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 if you're clever and if you have the experience that normally he has right now playing such as a high level with the national team and also with Manchester United, he should, he should just uh, stop and, and, and drop and just uh, you know, make a small foul or maybe just drop to make sure that Poulsen doesn't go anywhere. It's, it's insane what he did. And I think his brain is not onto a football field right now. That, of course, is a huge problem for Manchester United, who are taking on Newcastle this weekend, Stevie. If you're Solskjaer, how do you handle this whole situation? Listen, the easiest thing would be to drop him, but the way United are right now, they actually need a Harry Maguire somewhat decent. Not, not the Harry Maguire that, that, that when he signed for United looked like a captain, looked like a leader, and his play on the field I thought was excellent. Uh, but ever since the, the shutdown and then the restart, there's definitely been question marks over him. So I don't think Ollie's got a choice. I think if Ollie drops him, that puts even more pressure on him. You know, Harry Maguire has to be a man. He has to stand up. He has to have a good look in the mirror between now uh, and the Newcastle game and figure out how he gets himself back to where he was when he joined Manchester United. I don't think it's an option to drop him. I think that just makes things worse for both Harry Maguire and for Manchester United. But Stevie, he was terrible against Spurs as well. You know, he was very much culpable for that thrashing. Surely that should have been the time that he looked in the mirror and addressed himself and tried to get himself together. Clearly, he's not in the right place. And Solskjaer, I understand you could say, well, if he drops in, it's going to make things worse. But he's got to worry about his job at the moment. And if Maguire carries on like this, Solskjaer could get the sack, Stevie. Uh, well, Solskjaer's got more to worry about just Harry Maguire, to be honest. But I, I understand that all the attention has gone on Harry Maguire. Listen, he was made the captain for a reason. And the performances he had initially, uh, that's why they paid a lot of money for him. There's no question that he's having a tough time. But, you know, sometimes you have to stick with the player. And I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will stick with him. And I think he has to because, in some ways, if he doesn't, it will just make climbing back up the ladder twice as hard. Uh, Harry Maguire has to show what he's made of against Newcastle. And he can't do that if he's not picked. Frank, what would you do if you're Solskjaer? Um... I will, I will use him. I will talk to him. I will say, you know, I need you. The clubs need you. 
I think you need to play because you, psychologically I can feel that you're not there and you have a problem and you have an issue. But I think you're a football player and what you like the most is to be on the field and, uh, and fight for, for your color. So um, I want you and I need you. I want you to regain your, your confidence and your trust about, uh, about uh, football. And uh, you have my trust. So use that trust to get back into the field and to get back into the ballpark and to make sure that you're going to serve the club and serve myself and yourself the best way and the, the way we want it. But I will put it on the field. There is no way. You're going to kill him. Psychologically, you're going to kill him if you put him out. Stevie, as ex-professionals, how do you deal with it when we have this sort of funk? You know, Maguire's going to wake up on Thursday morning, he's on the back page of every newspaper, he's going to see it, he's going to see people talking about it on the radio, the TV. How do you psychologically get yourself over that and get yourself in the focus then for the game at the weekend? Well, what you have to do is get back to basics. Uh, you have to play safe. Uh, you have to try and play smart. You have to try and pick up good positions. Uh, and that's the only way you do it. It's absolutely 100%. You go back to basics. You don't make mistakes and you basically play your way back into form. And that's what players have been doing since the game started. Everybody goes through a bad spell. Now, yes, he's having a horrendous spell. But the only way out of it is to get back to basics. Keep it simple. Don't be clever. You know, if you need to drop five yards, then you do it. You don't gamble. Just back to basics. That is the only way back. Not just for him, but any player who's formed uh, is, is on the downward spiral. Frank, do you agree with Stevie? Yes, it's what you have to do. You have to use your experience to get back into the game, you know, the, uh, the more securely possible, you know. The thing is, you um, play long ball if you have to play long balls because like that, you don't take any risk. You don't play like they do, like, like they normally do, uh, like we call suicide passes, you know, when they play in their own 16-yard box. You don't do that. You don't do that for like one, two, three games like that. Nobody's going to hammer you if, you if you throw a long ball and nobody and there is no risk. Defensively, you have to use your experience to net, not be uh, not, not getting into troubles, not being in the middle of the park, you know, in the middle of uh, the issues. That, that, that has to be with the experience. He has enough experience to do so, but it's true. Getting into the basics, playing simple, um, just doing things that you are sure of is going to be enough. Uh, Dan, I have to say that Gareth Southgate didn't do him any favours by playing him wide of a three. He, he has to play down the middle. Usually when you play a three at the back, the two wide guys have to be able to get around the field. And that's not Harry Maguire's 40. We know that on the turn he can be slow. So... Gary Southgate didn't do him any favours by playing him in a wide position of the three either. In the end, it was a penalty that separated the two sides away from Maguire. Stevie, was it a penalty for you? <laughs> yeah, it's a penalty kick, guy. Yeah. I, initially, I thought maybe Delaney pushed Walker, but he, he didn't. Listen, Walker gets put off because clearly he gets a shout from Pickford in goal, who ends up <clears throat> neither staying nor coming. He ends up in no man's land. And it makes Walker hesitate. And as soon as Walker realises that Pickford's not there, he tries to clear it, but Delaney has got in just ahead of him. And he kicks Delaney. So it's apparently all day long. Uh, and again, it's a player that, that was under pressure coming into this game in Pickford because of you know, the mistakes he'd been making at Everton. And you can understand Southgate playing him because he hasn't made mistakes for England. And so Southgate's never going to drop him with that situation. However, now, after today, there may be a different answer to that question. And overall, Stevie, England with a lot of work to do before the Euros next summer. They have to, but like many, many other teams. You know, we, I saw France playing, uh, we, we saw Germany struggling, Spain as well. Um, I mean, I don't see anybody ready if the Euro was tomorrow. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a prime. We saw issues everywhere. France uh, was able to, to play 45 minutes. England didn't play at all. We saw Spain playing 30 minutes. I mean, that's crazy. But teams are struggling like we see with clubs. That's the main thing. Main, main, uh, same thing. It, and it's like the pandemic and the restart has been an issue for everybody.
overall England with a lot of work to do before next summer, Stevie? Yeah, but I have to agree with, uh, <laughs> with Frank. Everybody looks as though they've got the problems. Uh, listen, after beating Belgium, supposedly the number one team uh, on the planet, then things are actually looking not too bad. And in the space of 90 minutes, uh, they seem to have gone a little pear-shaped. Now, I would suggest that it would have been a bigger tragedy had it been 11 v 11 and they get beat 3-0 at home and completely outplayed. The fact of the matter is, after Maguire gets sent off, uh, then it, it completely changes the whole uh, dimension of the game. So, yes, they're not at their best. Yes, they've got problems like everybody else, but... When you go down to 10 men and then look, give a goal away or a penalty away two minutes later, it takes, it takes, it takes a, a, a side in form and an incredible spirit to get back into it. So, yes, problems, but they're not, they're not that far from everybody else. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.